Renard, nobody cares about your ghetto style and your west side flash. Okay, dude. So now we know what is that what with Jim and them and the all American whole point is Bernard ever since you and Perlita in the group if you got a hold of it all you do is make a heaping pile of trash you're a fraud you don't do anything you've already done these before you're the one that's turned it into a shit pile trust me Bernard there are people in the world with talent to do stuff that's far more far more greater that you're missing out on for your carny circus in the group of you who gives a fuck you're a disorganized group of morons you're a <laughs> dumb Eventually, you're going to get yourself trapped in any way, Bernard. So you could boaster about it all you want. But you look stupid. Quit complaining about your situation, Perlita and Dave. When you fucking do, bring it upon yourself. And so if you're going to flash me a west side fucking gangster symbol, don't fucking frame me for murder that I didn't commit. Because you guys are the murderers, Bernard. With your Negroes. So you have your fucking answer. All American. Don't fucking persecute people when you're the dumb fucks that ruined everything anyway. And that's what some of us have been trying to prove for some time, Bernard. Now we know who are the ones that moved in on the base who caused the fucking war and trashed everything while you're asserting that it was me simply through birth or because of a two. Give me a fucking break, Bernard. You and Perlita and that group of them are the fucking dumbest human beings to ever fucking been born. So don't assert that your god or created a negro goddess and shit. You guys look like a bunch of pathetic fools. That's, that's what intelligence is for. That's why those people left, Bernard. Because the process for it is like you have to, like I said, you're born and you have to go through this stuff for it. But it's nice to know who destroyed the fucking both coastlines. So, Bernard, what are you trying to prove? That you could destroy a decent reality it was beneficial for like every single being and that you have to make up a robot story to make your, like I said, your last ditch, ditch, ditch effort to become famous when all your people are unhealthy and fat and nasty and gross after you all told everybody that they had to be healthy and shit. Give me a fucking break, carny boy. You and Red Randy and that group aren't fucking fooling anyone. Like I said, you're being... You're being charged with mass murder in multiple states, Bernard. It's nothing to be proud about, but you can. But it's nice to know that El Elton and you, Bernard and Doug and Ellery are the rapists that fucking can't get your story straight. So seven years of a torture chamber that's not needed to derive the same fucking information that pretty much already everybody knew about you. Give me a fucking break, Freemans. You haven't amounted to anything ever since touching it other than abusing other your friends and families and killing them. So you can, Perlita. But don't pretend that you guys were the ones that created it down there when you guys didn't do anything other than wreck it. All that fucking work. So you can pretend, Bernard, but you're the ones missing out. Like, like I said, most people when you guys moved in fucking left anyway. And like I said, there's better shit than what you guys are professing to control. So you just run a fucking criminal sex ring, Bernard. whoop de doo and you're a murderer. There's like thousands of them. Who gives a fuck about your carny circus and country and western hillbilly hicks? Damn, Bernard. So just admit to the world with your group that you're prison fag. That's all you guys wanted to be anyway. And don't say that you guys didn't destroy Brian's and their reality and mine and Kim's and Bailey's and shit and everybody else. Had nothing to do with religion. But like I said, Bernard, you're the one missing out after yanking everything and fucking claiming that it's your property when it never fucking was. So you want to be a slave to that dirty fucking money and shit? You guys want to be a slave to the movies to be famous in reality and copy everybody's idea? You can. But like I said, Bernard, you're the ones missing out and turning into a bunch of fucking sappy inbreeds. And if you read any science and history, supposed great carny boy, you know that that society and the way of living isn't going to work. So like I said, a simple boot camp setup, you guys are broken, you're not going to be able to handle it anyway. So the military and them were right. So you can go around and be, do what you do with the All-American and the Antillas, but please, don't pretend to be some great fucking scientific experts when you're all working together. You're a disorganized hive. That's all they needed to prove. Like I said, you get you guys' answer. Stop crybabying about it, Bernard. When you are, are the ones that killed Kim. Because she had something you wanted and you knew there was a relation there or people loved her or I loved her or whatever. Same with Holly and Amanda. 
same with the Schwartzes. And then you hate Freemans for some fucking reason have to attach yourselves to it, claiming that you're the saviors of the earth. So here we go again, orbital saint, and then and then the, the gangster shit. You're the ones that de-evolved it when it was starting to go up, Bernard and Ellery. So quit complaining. It's not my fault that Joe and them fucking flip switch just so they can make friends. And you guys don't have to pay for it by how you look and feel, too. So I hope it's fucking worth it, moron. So Bernard's back with, what is it, Anne in the, in the Holly and Amanda doing the black again? <laughs> Bernard, you guys are getting so predictably stupid, it's not even funny. Like I said, there's the other side of a nation and world that is evolving off of your dumbasses. And um, you won't beat the Israelis. And there's a couple other friends that I have out there you won't beat anyway. So you can pretend to be the leader of the world and, you know, profess with your fucking that you're the greatest beings to ever live. But I can assure you, when they're ready, they'll slaughter the living shit out of you. So <laughs> you can run around with Robo Knight and all them and pretend, but... There are people who are buying their time. Like I said, there are some who are more patient than others. And I assure you, Bernard, <laughs> when, you, when the time comes, you, you'll be annihilated and you won't rule anything. 